I'm Sari Cohen. We are here in Los Angeles on the red carpet for the premiere of NBC's new series, Grand Crew. Get ready to take a first look. For ages, the black man has been seen as many things, but we have a sensitive side. I'm gonna ask Alicia to marry me. What? what? Seriously, dude? I've had almond milk in my fridge longer than you've been with Alicia. We gonna be on We laugh. <laughs> Couldn't find a coast to raise, huh? <laughs> you out here looking like an unfinished drawing. <laughs> And we love. Tiff, what the hell? So what are we going to see in these characters this season that we haven't seen on television before? Uh, you're going to see a lot of goofiness. Uh, one thing about um, a black show is it's not, this show, I think, sort of breaks that mold. It, it, it talks about sort of breaking the stereotypes of what it means to be black men and black women. Um, but we get to explore being human, and so there's many facets of, uh, of being black, and one of the main things is, is just there's a humanity inside. We, we are human, and so we don't have to fit those molds. And so for me, uh, I'm an extremely goofy country person, and so I get to live inside that. For like basically the first time in my career, I get to kind of play things that are closer to myself. No, it's honestly such an honor to be here, and I grew up in West Adams, so this is very much a, a full circle moment for me. Gosh, and this really is such an L.A. story. I yes. feel like such an L.A. love story. Yes, yes. What is it about love in L.A. in particular that you feel like audiences are really gonna just connect with? The love of L.A. or the love that exists in L.A. and around L.A.? Well, I mean, I think L.A., me growing up in L.A., like, I'm an, I'm an Angelino through and through. I went to undergraduate in Chicago, then quickly came back to L.A. I was like, what am I doing? I'm from the city. Let's come back here. Um, I think people, you know, in L.A., like, you find your different pockets, for instance, and, and sometimes you don't really venture out of that pocket. So maybe this will give uh, people uh, some incentive to do that. Also, I think a lot of people will see themselves represented in the show, in particular characters of the show. You know what? Our commonality is that we're all idiots. And we all have, have these interesting, uh, different personalities, but they all kind of merge together. We all just love each other so much. The commonality is just the love that we have for each other in real life and on TV, you know? Okay, so what is it about your character that inspires you the most? About my character? I think his his drive to be respected, his drive to let everybody know, like, hey, man, I may be a little rough around the edges, but I'm not somebody to be toyed with. I'm not somebody to be taken lightly. You know what I mean? Like, smart dude, uh, knows everything, knows a lot about a little, knows a little about a lot, you know? Okay, so Nikki is a real estate agent. She is... Uh, a powerful, successful woman who owns her sexuality, who also is very caring, loves her brother Noah, played by Echo Callum, which was wonderful to do because Echo and I... <laughs> <laughs> I've known Echo for so long, and it's been a joy to work with him. I love him so much. Also, what's going on with my spatial awareness? Because I kept talking while a man's head was literally right here. <laughs> And then you all get together over drinks. What, did, what is it about wine that you think brings everyone together? Well, number one, you, it takes a longer time to get drunk. Because uh, if it was just a shot bar, you know, we'd just all be wasted and splayed out in like 30 minutes. But also there's like this really dope aspect of wine where there's so many different types. There's so many different ways to age it. There's so many type, you know, ways to, you know what I'm saying, barrel it. There's different types of wine. So there's like all these like kind of aspects that really draw to your specific personality. Well, first of all, I feel like you get to learn about the crew through Faye because she's the new one, right? So we have to like teach her who everyone is and what everyone's role is. And then you get to learn new things about Faye because she's the new one. So it's constantly like the group discovering. That's actually kind of a bit in the show where they, they're constantly discovering new weird facts about me and my history. Um, I won't give more than more of that away, but yeah, that's a, a fun part of the show as well. You know, they say uh, write what you know, and I think this show is a is a prime example of that. Uh, there's a wine bar that me and my friends gather at. We talk about life, we talk about inspirations, we talk about hard times, and uh, that felt like the ripest idea for the show. And um, we we got people that I've known for a long time to be in front of the camera. We got a great staff behind the camera, um, and uh, that came together with the show that that um, that people are about to see on Tuesday. So. Yeah. This cast, the chemistry that they have, the way they gel, I think it's 
there are other great casts. There's no question. But this is this cast is its own special thing, and I think I think people will really. I'm I hope and I know I have. I think people will really fall in love with this cast. In addition to the amazing writing and the comedy. And that's a wrap here on the red carpet for NBC's new comedy series Grand Crew. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time. These are just people who hang out. Yeah, we're not a monolith. We're all different types and personalities. I love that about our show. We all got different. Like, I hate everything this dude is interesting. Hate <laughs> everything. Like, it's too. all weird. But so. you're still friends. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, friends. Clang, clang. Clang, clang. Maybe you should talk to a therapist. I'm good. Black people don't do therapy. <laughs> mm hmm. Nah. Uh, I'm black and I go to therapy. I don't trust therapists. My psychic told me not to. I did therapy. Finally. Thank you. Couples therapy is what led to my divorce. Shut up.